I'm Catherine Sutherland. And I'm Nakia Baris. We encourage you to watch The Michael Finkley Show on Roku TV and YouTube. Don't forget to click and subscribe. If I can make it through the night Just to see a brighter side Cause I've been working all my life Just to make it If I can make it through the night Just to see a brighter side Cause I've been working all my life Hello everybody, welcome to the Michael Finkley Show Thank you for joining us today Ooh. To see you. Y'all, now y'all know that I'm a big advocate for education, right? I have my consulting firm, the Finkley Experience, where we specialize in first generation education, right? So, with that, we assist college high school students with their college and career endeavors. We train school administrators on best practices of first generation students. And also, we partner with colleges and universities to assist with their population of first generation students, right? For easier transition from high school to college. That's what we do, all right? Why do we do all that? Y'all, I'm first gen, right? When I was going through the process, uh, it was hard, it was tough. Um, the information that I should have received, I didn't. The guidance I needed, I did not receive. And so a lot of things we had to learn on our own, right? And with the guidance of my future alma mater at the time, my alma mater now, uh, they assisted us in the FAFSA, learning, developing the college student we needed to be. All right, so this is why we work so hard. And now that I've worked in education for so many years in higher ed and secondary ed and college and career readiness, I'm giving that information to everyone. And so that's why I get so excited when I run into people like Brandon Jones, right? Brandon is an awesome individual who is the founder of College Readiness 101, and he's assisting the students of tomorrow with their college and career endeavors. But what is college written this 101? Well, you gotta find out. You gotta stick around for that. So don't you go away. We'll be right back. Coming up, we chat with Brennan Jones. We'll be right back. On the next Michael Finkley. The Michael Finkley Show is Motivational Mondays. Timothy Clifton's with us. And the king of Proud Puff cereals, Nick King, stops by. Next Finkley. Monday. She is a multitasker. She is a wife, a mom. She is city councilwoman. She, yeah. When I was growing up, mom worked outside the house, and so my dad was an entrepreneur. I saw him leaving early in the morning or late at nights to go meet with clients, and he was always one who told me, you know, if you show up on time, you're late. I just admire how she's able to not only juggle the demands of her jobs, but keep her family really first. The outstanding thing about the Isaac family is their noble contributions to improving the quality of life for our Colombians and people all over this state. Aye. Aye. Tamika Isaac. Do Solomon swear. Discharge the duties thereof. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations and best wishes. I first ran because I saw a need. I saw a void that needed to be filled, a voice uh, that wasn't there. And over the last several years, I feel like I've been able to be that voice. So often as women in whatever spaces that we're in, um, we are often discounted because we're a mom or we're a wife or we have this career. And she's an everyday woman who shows women what excellence looks like. She has walked the walk of being a small business person, of being a parent, of sending her kids to school. Columbia is a great place, and we have done a lot in the last few years as far as law enforcement. But law enforcement can't do everything, nor should it do everything. We have to really expand upon the tools, technology, and community policing, investing in our communities uh, so that law enforcement is a partner with our communities. 
being a Columbia native, I've seen the way this city has grown. It's grown to the point that sometimes not everybody's been a part of that growth. I want to make sure that communities, specifically communities of color, make sure that they are part of Columbia's present and its future. I want to have a climate plan for this city that not only helps us be sustainable, but also helps provide opportunities for folks in the workforce. There are so many opportunities to take advantage of technology, uh, green energy. I want to be the advocate for growing our city and being on the forefront, not just looking at what other cities are doing and following them, but being the leader. If you don't have the right leadership, you're going to miss a lot of opportunities. I think having a woman as mayor of the city of Columbia is long overdue. I'm Tamika Isaac Devine, and I'm running for mayor of the city of Columbia. Hey everybody, my name is Arthur Vernon R. Matthews Jr. I just wrote a new book called Family Ties and I also want to say a special shout out to one of the kids that I mentored and has got his own TV show on Roku, Michael Finkley, and this is 100th episode. So if you guys want to really hear about this book and see what's going on, check out Mike Finkley on The Finkley Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Michael Finkley Show. Now, our next guest, he is an award-winning author. He's an educational consultant. And I tell you, this man knows what he's talked about when he's here talking about the era of college readiness. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Brandon Jones. Brandon, how are you? I'm doing well, my guy. How you doing? I am so well. I'm so excited. I'm excited about this conversation because what you do is what I love as well. So thank you for being with us today. Not a problem at all. I'm really excited to be here. Awesomeness. So, Brenda, let's go back to childhood, right, as you were in school. How was the preparedness for college aspect for you? Was there support? Was there a little? How was that for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess like a lot of households, my my mom was the kind of the driver of the educational experience in my house. So um, she was a college graduate, um, mm -hmm. told me that college was going to be the best years of my life. And so mm -hmm. um, there wasn't a, a Brandon Jones in my area. There wasn't a, a organization that was going back and, 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 and helping students get to the next level. And so right. a lot of it was actually just homegrown internal research, uh, going to events, finding as much information as we can about colleges that was coming to the Atlanta area so that I could get exposed uh, to those opportunities. And so it was a lot of that, you know, doing it on your own. Um, my high school counselors kind of gave me a, a, a lot of information, but again, I'm, I went to a, a large high school, so right. their caseload was high. And so a lot of it did of fall course. on, <laughs> a lot of it did fall on kind of my family to be able to, to do that research. So, mm -hmm. so that's kind of how it happened for me. Gotcha. And so you said your mom said that college will be some of the best years of your life. Was mama right? Man, mom was absolutely right, man. I went to I went to the unsinkable Albany State University and got a chance to play uh, football, um, pledge cap outside there, very involved in, in everything that was on campus. And uh, it was the best years of my life. I'm very, very happy uh, about my college experience that I had uh, at a wonderful HBCU here in the state of Georgia. I love it. And and so you say you pledged Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity. Absolutely. There's no no other choice, man. There's no other choice besides Kappa Alpha Psi. But there's uh, always the that. first though. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Once once you do something right, once Apple does it right, they make it something better later. So you know, I, I'm excited about what I got going on, man. I'm not going to hold that against you, though. <laughs> oh, we dare not hold that against you. You got the alpha part right, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so at one point, you started working in higher education, student services, uh, admissions. And at one point in your career, did you say, hey, I need to branch out and just continuously teach students about this concept of college readiness? Where did yeah, that point yeah, get so you? Yeah, so my, my story is, uh, like a lot of students who come out of college, I, I, my, my major was criminal justice. Mm -hmm. um, after graduating, I didn't find a job in my field. I actually started started teaching, right? And oh, wow. so I fell in love with, uh, with education. Um, shortly after that, 
uh, I got a chance to get into college admissions. And so um, I saw how ill-prepared students were, uh, especially those students that, that looked like me. Um, I wanted to make sure that I could bridge a gap uh, to assist those students and families that were needing assistance, um, reading applications, scholarship applications, looking at everything they were providing. It was just, you know, th there needs to be something, some, some type of guidance here. And so I actually started a nonprofit organization called Next Step Education Foundation. And uh, we uh, started in 2011, ran our first program in 2013. And so now we do a lot of workshops in the community. We host uh, boot camps and series for student groups, churches, school systems. And we have our annual college career and services fair every year in August. And uh, over the last five years, we've had 163 on the spot acceptances and uh, 6.2 million scholarship offers. So I'm very excited about what Next Step Education is doing. And so that's kind of where my college readiness hat kind of began. And so we're doing a lot of work in the community. Oh, definitely. Oh, my God. And you know how many lives you're changing yeah. out there with that foundation? It's amazing. So yeah. what type of yeah. workshops are, have you done in the past with your foundation? Yeah. So we do this the, the general college readiness, right, 101. And so we'll do uh, college selection. We'll do college preparation in that. We'll do... Uh, scholarships, financial aid, the funding one is always big. Uh, we talk about how uh, social media can impact your admissions and your college life. We talk about uh, SAT, ACT. We talk about a lot of different things, a lot of aspects to just gear towards the, the, the experience of preparing for and getting in and matriculating through kind of like what a college experience would look like. So, so that's what we talk about. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. And so within that foundation, it births something else that we now call the College Readiness One-on-One. -on -one. Please, what is this? <laughs> yeah, so how that came about was I, um, I was getting invitations to come mm. and speak all around the country. I was getting invitations to come and do a, a session or a workshop or put on a college fair or, or do something. And um, it's just, I, I did not have the time. I, I, did, I could not make all of the, um, the planned events, all of the activities. And so what I decided to do was write a curriculum mm -hmm. where uh, students and educators could use in their college and career preparatory programming. Um, and they could use my strategies, even if they couldn't meet with me one-on-one -on -one, or even they couldn't you know, hear me speak or come to one of my sessions, they could yeah. actually use those strategies. And so the College Readiness 101 workbook series uh, kind of guides students uh, through what they should do each year, uh, eighth through 12th grade, um, to prepare for college. And so uh, I actually got an award for it. It was, uh, I received the Education Author of the Year Award for that in 2019. So I'm very excited about the growth of that event. So uh, birth out of that is the, uh, the College Bound Parent mini series. And so that kind of talks to parents about what they need to know about their child's transition from uh, high school to college. And so it's all about information and access. And I want to be able to shorten the learning curve for the college bound families. Definitely. And that's amazing work, sir. Yeah, that I is appreciate awesome. It. I appreciate work. it. But when we come back, sir, we're going to talk more in depth about this series that you have because it's truly important. So, what is College Readiness 101? Find out next. What's up, y'all? I'm Leon Frierson, former cast member from Nickelodeon's All That and co-host of the Prime Nostalgia Podcast. And I'm here to ask you to join me in watching the Michael Finkley Show weekly on YouTube. Now, I've been on the show, so I definitely know it's a platform where you'll be educated, informed, and inspired. Now, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on YouTube. My body and my crib. Looking for a mentoring program for your young male between the age of 6 and 18 in Columbia, South Carolina? Well, look no further. Big Homie, Lil Homie Mentoring Program is the program for you. Under the leadership of Mr. Jamal Stroud, Big Homie, Lil Homie is a 50C3 nonprofit organization that caters and mentors at risk youth that come from single parent homes. The organization caters to young males between the ages of 6 and 18 within the greater Columbia area. The organization is devoted to shaping and molding their life into great men of society. Big Homie Little Homie organizes 
mail gatherings, discussions, and even educational assistance devoted to guiding and leading them into a positive light. Making a positive attitude will help in transforming a life regardless of what is experienced in life. For more information on Big Homie Little Homie Mentoring Program, visit our social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm just not college material. I am tired of school. I'm just not sure what I want to do after graduation. Sound familiar? Welcome to the Prelo Educational Institute. Our focus is to help young people prepare for life after high school. It's never too early to start planting the seed for education, career, and life overall. The Prelo Educational Institute is made up of the following two products. The first product is the book titled, I Ain't Going to College, A Guide for Life After High School. This is the first book of a series that introduces middle and high school students to a young man struggling to find his way and make the decision about whether attending college is the right choice for him or not. The book has questions inside and a supplemental curriculum can also be purchased. The newest product from the Prelo Educational Institute is our online course titled Preparing for Life After High School. In this course, students will learn about decision making, self-confidence, accountability, self-awareness, and many other topics that speak to social-emotional learning. Young people will read a story about a young man who never gave up no matter what the circumstances were. The course is interactive and has questions, quizzes, and video. Do not wait until your child or student is a senior in high school to start planning. Enroll today. To enroll and learn more, please visit www.speakerauthormarlo.com. Hi everyone, it's your girl Trinice from American Idol, and I am encouraging you to tune in to The Michael Finkley Show on Roku TV and YouTube. Will be, will be, will be. Welcome back to the Michael Finkley Show. We are still chatting with Brandon Jones. He is the executive director of College Readiness 101. I tell you, he's doing some amazing, amazing work. So what kind of response have you been receiving from your series, from students, from parents, and um, persons that you've even partnered with? Yeah, so the series is actually doing very well. Uh, we have Mm -hmm. um, the workbook series now in um, a couple of school systems, Birmingham City Schools, Doherty County Schools here in Albany, Georgia. Uh, we're working with a couple of TRIO programs, Clark Lee University's TRIO program, their um, education talent search and upward bound programs. Uh, UC Davis out in California is using it. I got a school in West Virginia that's using it. Um, and so it's, it's coming together. It really is. Um, and, and the thing is, is that it, it provides opportunities for organizations, school groups, student groups, um, to be able to have a curriculum, a tangible item um, that they can kind of work through. If they want the e-workbook version of it, that's available as well. And so it, it just allows them to kind of work through something um, in, a, in a more systematic way than just, you know, workshops and things like that. And so uh, I've been getting a lot of really good feedback. Um, I'm getting the data back from school systems and and organizations and it's looking really good. Uh, right now we're at an 83% success rate of, of, after they complete it, they're getting accepted into a institution of higher learning. So I'm very, very excited That's about awesome. that. I'm very excited about that. And so um, again, like I say, it's, it's not about the awards or it's not about you know this big thing. It's really about making an impact in the students' lives. Uh, that we're trying to serve. And I feel like, you know, as educators, because in education period, there is, you know, quote unquote, no money, right? As into, you know, getting filthy, filthy rich. Uh, but we look for those, uh, you know, testimonials from students saying that I use this and I, now I'm learning. I get it now. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like in so many ways, that's better than money. Oh, absolutely. You know, it it's, shows the, it's the aha moment, right? It's the yes. aha moment. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I'm addicted to. You know, yeah. once you make that connection, I've, I've done my job. Yeah. Right, right. And it's amazing. It's a job that you will continue to do, I feel, for, <laughs> for the rest of your life. Um, Brandon, what are some of the other organizations that you are working with? And what are some organizations that you wish to work with in the future? 
Yeah. So as of right now, um, we're doing a lot of work with small organizations. Uh, we have one large organization we're really working with as well. Um, so I Daydream out in California is a, a huge organization that we are uh, connecting with, uh, with Brandy Day, um, the Academy of Goal Achievers in, in Charlotte, uh, mm -hmm. College Prep U in Trustville, Alabama. Uh, we're very excited to work with those organizations. Um, but right now I'm doing a lot of work with the Stephen Marjorie Harvey Foundation mm -hmm. and the students that they serve. Uh, every year they are working with um, young men uh, and their mothers and then young women and their mothers as well. And so uh, I'll work with them on their follow-up programming for college preparation. And, and, they're, and they're coming and partnering with me on my college fair and other things. And so I feel like organizations like that have been making a big impact and I just, I'm happy to be a part of it. Okay, stop the presses, sir, because you said the Harvey Foundation. How did that come about? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Actually, some of their students, they found my college fair. The students in the organize and the organizers Amazing. They found my college fair, brought some students to the college fair. They got some on the spot acceptances, got mm -hmm. some uh, on the spot scholarship offers. Mm -hmm. And uh, ever since then, they, they have been a part of that, of that event, that that huge college career services that we do here in Metro Atlanta. And so I'm very excited that they've come on and, and partnered with me. And, and I'm very excited about the impact that they've been able to make uh, in the students' lives. And so gotcha. I'm, I'm just flabbergasted, man, by all of the things that they've been able to do with these students. That is amazing, sir. Wow. Wow. And I feel that when things like that happen, it gives you an extra boost of confidence it's like okay oh, yeah you're oh, on yeah. board now so what's next huh. yeah yeah exactly what's the next, what's the next thing <laughs> right right where where are the students exactly you know? <laughs> yeah i yeah. love it i love it and so how have you pivot your program or organization within this time of COVID-19 yeah COVID-19 was actually a really tough transition for us because uh one of the the best things about our organization is kind of how accessible we are, you know, mm -hmm. when we are with somebody, how much information we can provide. Um, our day-to-day face-to-face events um, are really, really good for students and parents. And so trying to switch that to um, online uh, is, is a little difficult because, you know, everything's online, right? So now students are having their uh, academic requirements online. So students are zoomed out you know, for the academic requirements or um, <laughs> any extracurricular activities that they were doing that's related mm -hmm. to school, non-school related activities. And so when a supplemental program like a Next Step Education comes in and we have another Zoom event, um, you know, I can see there'll be fatigue. So that's a little bit of a, of a difficulty. And so uh, I'm absolutely ready for uh, COVID-19 to be over with, <laughs> open these events back up so that we can kind of provide that information uh, exactly. in a face-to-face -face format. Exactly. We're yeah. praying for that moment to come when that Absolutely. happens. Oh, my Absolutely. word. Um, and so you have this awesome new podcast that you launched back in February of this year, the College Readiness 101 podcast. Please tell us all about it. Yes, yes, yes. So this is, I guess, the another part of my heart, right? So this is a free content that students and parents can, can receive. Mm -hmm. uh, about the college preparatory process. I'm having some amazing guests come on and have discussions with me uh, about aspects of their um, expertise, right? And so we'll bring on somebody from the Technical College System of Georgia. We have some college recruiters. We have scholarship coaches. Everybody's coming on to talk to me about things that can help students and parents with their preparatory process. And so yeah. mm -hmm. I am thoroughly enjoying it. I wasn't a podcast person before. And so I, I like the creative parts of it. And uh, it allows me to kind of share, you know, some some little nuggets of things that I know um, in, in a free format, right? In a way that you can right. just listen to short episodes um, that are pretty impactful. And uh, you can take some things away from it. This is College Readiness 101. Mm -hmm. You can find it on your favorite streaming platforms, or you can go to my website, at collegeradius101.com. I love it. I love it. And so I must ask this question because, again, you're dealing with college readiness. That, that encompasses so much, right? College admissions, uh, essays, tests, the different trends. How do you keep yourself updated on what current trends are in that, in that industry? Well, the good thing is, is that I, I started my career as a college recruiter, right? Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of college recruiters. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm staying in the know with um, email lists, list serves. I'm staying in the know of before COVID conferences um, and, and events that um, school systems, events that colleges, um, university systems, technical systems are kind of putting together. And so, you know, for something like this, you still have to be a student, right? You still have to be oh, a student yes. of the game. Ooh. You have to continue to learn because things change uh, all the time. And so that's how I'm keeping, so I'm keeping abreast of it. You know, I have a couple of college recruiter groups that I'm in and mm-hmm. uh, kind of being connected uh, is the best way to do it. Exactly. I love that. I love that. Because like, like you said, it changes. It can change like every day um, it does. in certain, so many ways. Absolutely. So definitely keeping keeping that um, under your belt uh, definitely works. And so what's next? What's next for your business? What's next for yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So next, I'm, I'm kind of working on a uh, a train the trainer curriculum, right? So mm-hmm. being able to work on um, work with those individuals who are going to be guiding students. That's one of the things I've been asked to do is a train the trainer curriculum for those who who just who just need it, who are going to be working with students but may not have a college recruitment background, yeah. uh, may not have those you know those tangible uh, experiences. And so that's one thing I'm working on. I'm working on trying to get this on an online format as well. And so. There'll be a couple of things coming out, you know, in 2021 uh, that will uh, be really good for students and parents. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, you can never get so much training in that type of field. Because I feel that even in COVID-19, you know, students wanting to pursue college, that's never going to go away. Yeah, it's absolutely. Absolutely, away. absolutely. Right. Right. Yeah. Definitely. How, one more time. How can they find you on social media? Yep. So you can follow me on my Instagram and Facebook at College Readiness 101. Um, if you're looking for uh, the philanthropic side of me, Next Step Education, uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram at Next Step Education. You can also find me on my website, it's collegeradius101.com and nextstepeducation.org. All right. You heard it here. Y'all, the guru himself when it comes to college readiness is Brandon Jones. Thank you so it. much for being with us. Uh, thank you for the invitation, Mike. I had a great time with you. Yes, sir. What's up? What's up, everybody? This is Ryan Toby. You know me from Sister Act 2, Mr. Oh Happy Day, and the hit R&B group City High. I'm welcoming everybody to join and tune into the Michael Finkley Show on YouTube and also on the Greater Works Network on Roku TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Calling all trio, gear up, jag, and other college readiness organizations. Hello everybody, it's Finkley with the Finkley Experience. I am here to offer you information about our college readiness cohort series. This college readiness series includes college applications, SAT, ACT prep, scholarships, financial aid, the mental mind state, HBCU versus PWI versus technical colleges, and so much more. You know this is helpful because it's actually like making me change my college plan. <laughs> really? If you're interested, visit our website, thefinkleyexperience.com, or just email us at michael at thefinkleyexperience.com. We're looking forward to working with you. Need a little motivation? Timothy Clifton is with us every week on Mondays to get your week started with a little motivation, all here on The Michael Finkley Show. On the next Michael Finkley. The Michael Finkley Show is Motivational Mondays. Timothy Clifton's with us. And the king of Proud Puff Cereals, Nick King, stops by. Next Finkley. Monday. Everybody, welcome back. So you know I'm gonna ask you, what did you learn? This was an awesome educational moment. So what did you learn? Let's have a conversation below in the comments. Thank you so much, Brandon Jones, for being with us, sharing your wisdom, your knowledge, and your experiences through College Readiness 101. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And if there's anything that we can do to assist you here at the Michael Finkley Show, please let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Now, y'all, on Monday, 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 we have Awesome guest again, right? Uh, you may see him on our platform uh, for Motivational Mondays, 
Tim Clifton is with us as a guest and he talks about why he's so darn positive. How did he get so positive, y'all? But he finally tells us this, so find out on Monday. And then also we have Nick King. Now you may have seen him in the news, you may have seen him on like the Kelly Clarkson show and all these different type of outlets promoting his brand new product. Proud Puff Cereal, and I tell you, he's reported to be the first African American um, to own a cereal company. So he tells this story, and it's a story like no other. Yo, another awesome show on Monday. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, on Michael Finkley Show. Ring that bell for notification. We'll see you in an email saying, "Hey, new content uploaded." Please listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And for up-to-date information about The Michael Finkley Show, please, 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 please visit our website at michaelfinkleyshow.com. Thank you for watching. And guess what? We'll see you on Monday. Have a good weekend.